cover faceplate that's gonna fold up. Uh, that way when you're looking at it, it looks pretty clean. Uh, and I just want that all covered. That way I can keep my toolkit covered. Uh, and then up here, I'm gonna add some wings on the sides. Um, that way I can add some storage down there as well. And then lastly, I'm gonna add some D-rings uh, to the top so I can tie down whatever boxes or supplies I have up there. And it should work pretty good for me. Okay, well, sorry about the wind noise. Uh, my plan is to cut two legs at uh, 10 and 3 quarters and then by 32 inches long. That way I can have some support for the top board. And then after that, I'm gonna make the wings. So, yeah, here we go. So this is after the first cut, um, 10 and a half. I haven't cut it down to 32 yet, um, just because I wanted to make sure it fit right. So I'll show you that right now. So that worked well. Uh, it's a little bit teetery, as you'll see. That's just because I have two supports instead of one in the middle. Um, I'm just trying to get the spare tire in there, so that's kind of why I don't have a middle support, but I'm gonna add some L brackets and I think it should stabilize it along with the screws I'm gonna put in. So now I'm going to mark in place and cut these ends down to what they're need to, needing to be and I'll screw it all together inside. Alright, so a helpful little tip for anybody doing this is to check the squareness of your adjustable squares. Um, you want to do this because sometimes they will not be actually square. So you just take another square and you just make sure it's all good.
So I've gotten the holes drilled out for the screws. I counter sunk them and then I filled them with a half inch dowel. And I'm gonna go ahead and sand them down and then we'll be good to go and sand the rest of it and then I will start on the wings. And then as you can see, I just took these down with an oscillating and then I'll sand it all down. I just wanna get it in there to fit make sure it's all good before I started to finish sand it and then I'm going to make these wings for it. All right, so my phone was dying, so I had to go charge it. But what I did is I got the wings cut and fit in um, and mounted. Uh, I'll show you in just a second, but I need to add a second mount because it's just too flimsy. Um, I'm also gonna have some end caps that'll make it a little more sturdy, but just for longevity, I think I might get a second set. All right, so I've added a little stoppers for this. Um, still coming up, it's a little bit fumbly, but now it has a stopper and both sides are looking pretty good. All right, so I fucked up. Um, I cut my four by eight, both lengthwise and widthwise instead of just lengthwise. Uh, so my face plate no longer is gonna fit. Uh, pretty bummed, I might, figure something out for it but for now I'm actually pretty stoked with how it looks uh, I don't think it looks bad without the faceplate and I think it might even be a little more functional it's just I prefer it to look a little bit more finished uh, but with the tailgate closed you can't you can't even tell so I don't think it really matters to me but I might figure something out for it so I put these little covers on uh, it also helps to keep this flat and level um, and then I also added these bumpers right here that way when this goes down, because I have to add an extra hinge anyway, but I also just didn't want it to go down too far. So when it goes down, it's completely supported. I can add, I can have a little weight on it, not too much. And then same on this side. I did have to notch this just because of my side panels, but I'm not a huge fan, so I might go back and fix it. But this side's the same. I added a little stopper, a little bumper, um, and then I'm gonna add a, a secondary hinge. These are my totes that I'm gonna have on it. One of them's a Yeti cooler, um, 35 quart. And this is just a Costco pack. And then I'm gonna add these uh, tie down points or D-rings um, to each corner. And I forgot to mention that I did countersink each um, screw and then I, I doweled, I put a dowel through it so that way it looks nice and finished. It's gonna be painted black so you won't even be able to tell, 
but I think it'll be a nice little touch just to make it a little more finished. Uh, I didn't do it on these for some reason, but I think it's okay. All right, so this is me wrapping up on day one. It's still super windy um, and it's getting cold, so I'm gonna call it a night. But I'll show you what I got done. So I ran it over these edges, um, just the top edge, just to make it a little nicer. I still have that finish sand it, and then I added little finger holes, and I added the second bracket. Um, so that's good on both sides. And I actually can fit my DeWalt mechanic set, my Ryobi toolkit, and then I got these two up here, my high lift jack in the back. Looks really good. I'm super excited to paint it black, and uh, sorry about the mess, but yeah. Good night, you guys.